Are you absolutely sick and tired of getting the no money objection? You know what I'm talking about. You are out there doing the thing that gets it done. You're talking to prospects and time and time again, they're telling you they have no money. Well, if that's you, welcome to the party, my friend, because we are going to talk all about how to handle it. So if you are watching the replay, go ahead and drop a hashtag replay there. If you are joining me live, great to see you. Where are you guys coming in from? Now, if we haven't met before, my name's Summer Geronimo, and I help network marketers that want to take their skill, their mindset, and their income to that next level. My husband and I, we've been so very blessed that over the past five years have put together a team that's over 50,000 distributors strong. So I'm just sharing the things that we've done, the things that we're using, the things that I see people that, you know, the, the objections and, and the things people are getting out in the marketplace, what we're doing about it and how you can handle it in the network marketing space. So what's up, Miss Kelly? Hey, hey, Joelle, how are you? If you are popping on, go ahead and tell me where you are tonight. I'm out of Houston, Texas. And today, my friends, we are talking about money. We're talking about, you know, this is a day, this is a time where people, you know, it's the holidays, right? And now more than ever, people are spending more than ever before. Are you with me? And they have more expenses, they have more responsibilities, they have more things that are coming up. How do we continue to stay in the game as network marketers? How, how do we handle the no money objection? If you've ever gotten this objection before, go ahead and drop a, a, drop a yes in the comment section because that's what we are talking all about. What's up, Cece? Hey, Terrence, how are you? Miss Kimberly, how are you? Great to see you. What's up, Cindy? Guys, not only this would probably be something that you want to hear about, but do yourself a favor. Get your team on because if this is an objection that you're experiencing, you know what, my friends? Your team is getting the no money objection as well. Um, Pesos, anybody? Shall we go to Mexico? <laughs> That's what I have right here. What's up? Yes, Kimberly's getting this. So let's talk about how to handle this. Well, we're just in a time where more and more people are, they know they need to do something with their finances, but it's a time where it's the holidays. And what happens at the holidays? Any guesses? <laughs> we go out there and we spend, right? Like we have our change, we're cashing it in. People are breaking the bank. And this is a time when the responsibilities are high, there's family that's maybe in town, but at the same time, you and I, we're not gonna let anything keep us down. We're gonna continue to build our business. So how do we handle this objection? What do we do about it? And today we're gonna talk about some ideas, some philosophies that, that may be another side of the coin and maybe just a different way of looking at the no money objection and what you can do about it. So if you're joining me live, drop a hashtag live in the comment section. And if this is the first time, like we've never met before, I'd love to meet you. I'd love to give you a shout out. So drop a new in the comment section. Go ahead and put the word new so I can personally say hello. So what's up, Desiree? How are you? So let's talk about this. First of all, if you haven't gotten this objection before, let's just let's just throw it out there. We're probably not really building the business, right? <laughs> because this is an objection, no time, no money. Those are the two most common objections that you will ever get as a network marketer. What's up, Nancy? I got Hawaii in the house. Hey, hey, Oscar, how are you? So time and money. So let's talk about money because money is the thing that's on the brain tonight. And as we know, you know, people are gonna be spending more and more. And where there's great expenses going out, the flip side of that coin, right? Let's look at this objectively. One side is I'm spending, I'm spending, I have no money. Yes, it looks great, but I have no money to get started, right? Do you ever hear people say that to you? If you do, put a one in the comment section. The flip side of that coin is that while they're doing all the spending over here, the greater the expenses, the greater the spending, the greater the need for what it is that you have. Do you agree? If you agree, go ahead and drop some hearts there. I want to see emojis flying across. Um, the greater the need for what you have. So one of the things that I would propose to you, one of the things that I would suggest for you to consider is that timing is everything. 
Timing is everything. I don't know if you've ever had a time in your life where maybe finances were tight for you, or maybe you knew you liked this idea of network marketing, but it just wasn't the right time. You had, you know, a kid going off to college, or maybe you had a wedding coming up or something. You're about to leave on vacation. Do you know what I'm talking about? Timing is everything. And so if you're out there doing the deed that gets done, if you are out there and you are talking to prospects, you are putting your numbers on the board, you are like, hey, you know what? I'm going to close out this year strong. Congrats. Congratulations to you. If you're doing that, you can drop a congrats in the comment section and we're going to congratulate yourself. (laughs) High five, my friend. Okay. Did you give me a high five back? Okay. Ready? We'll do it one more time. Boom. Okay. High five to you. So congrats if you're going out there and that is what you're doing because that's really what it takes. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating because you're doing all this activity and sometimes you're not seeing the fruit of it right away. Okay. So go Kimberly. I'm so proud of you. Great girl. Um, who else is tearing it up? I want to see, put a congrats in the comment section. So we're doing all this work and sometimes we're not seeing the fruit of it right away. But here's what I'm going to propose to you, okay? As we're looking at the other side of our coin. What I'm going to propose to you is that if you're talking to a lot of people, let's say from Halloween on, Thanksgiving time, Christmas time, you're talking to people, talking to people, talking to people, and you're continually getting the no money objection, two things. Number one, let us consider that, you know, whatever's happening now, while they may say, oh, I have no money now, but they're spending like crazy, they're going to get that credit card bill come January. And guess who's going to be there? You are my friend. Kimberly's going to be there. Desiree's going to be there. Oscar's going to be there. You are going to be there to circle back around because the need is going to be the focus in January. So don't be so concerned about having to pick up the fruits all right now. It's okay if you do the deed that gets it done and they don't sign up on the spot at this moment. That's okay. And that is a level of maturity, understanding that It's not like you have to close every single person at that moment, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing, and just something to consider, is if we're talking to a lot of people and we're constantly getting the no money objection, perhaps this is something, just perhaps, just a thought that we are provoking, okay? Now, what on earth am I talking about, right? Perhaps this is something that we are provoking, It could be because we're using language that says, hey, maybe I think my product is too expensive or maybe they're going to say I don't have the money. We could be throwing out these red flags that actually makes the prospect want to say that. Okay, like if you say, yeah, I know the product is a little bit, but, you know, here's all the great benefits. No, 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 no. We're going to take that out of our language, because have you ever seen someone that talks about, let's say, their car? Okay, you got a Honda driver and you have a Mercedes driver, a BMW driver, or Bentley. I mean, name a car, right? You have a very nice car. Do they talk about the price? Is that one of the major things that they hit on? (laughs) No, they don't. They talk about all these other fantastic benefits. They talk about the ride. They talk about the luxury. They talk about how you're going to turn heads when you're driving down the street, right? They talk about that, right? And so... We need to consider that when we're talking to people that we're not focusing so much on price that we're actually provoking it out of our prospect. We're talking about instead the benefits and therefore they're going to see the benefit and be ready to rock and roll. That's one of the things. Another thing is we do have to consider if we're talking to our target market. What am I talking about exactly? Well, let's go back to the car scenario. So we have people that the market is The the target market for Honda is people in a certain age demographics. It's people with a certain amount of income. It's people that have certain goals in mind, like economy or different things like that, right? And then we have a different demographics over here that is going to be for the people that do want the, the more expensive ride. They do want, you know, the style. They do want the luxury. They do want all these other benefits, right? So if we have the Honda market and we have the Mercedes market, which one is your product? Okay, I'm gonna assume since it's a network marketing, it's obviously the Mercedes, right? Which one is yours? Okay, let's just take a poll. Do you have the Honda product or the Mercedes product? Go ahead and drop it there in the comment section. So let us just consider that for the most part, it is probably the Mercedes. Thanks for the love, thanks for the hearts. So if we know it's the Mercedes, 
Mercedes, let's make sure we're talking to the right demographics. Let's make sure that we're talking to people that number one, could afford the product. Number two, they see all of the other benefits. They're not looking at the price as the core thing. Terrence says Mercedes. Thank you. I know that about you, my friend. Absolutely. So let's consider that as we're talking to people. Now, this one final thing, and then we're going to wrap it up. Another thing that we want to consider is that out of everybody you've ever talked to in your business, there's going to be people that sign up on the spot and they're ready to rock and roll. What's up, Devin? Great to see you. Definitely Mercedes, girl. Um, we have some people that you talk to and they're ready to get, get rolling right away. And then we have some people that you talk to them and they love everything about it, but for whatever reason, they don't get started at that moment. They don't get become a customer. They don't become a business partner. So knowing that you know that Christmas time is one of the times where people spoil themselves. Like they get gifts. They do different things that's nice for themselves. Should we consider perhaps circling back up with some of these people and seeing if now might be the time to give the gift of health to themselves or to give the gift of whatever it is that you have, travel or skincare or whatever that might be, that they can give that to themselves as a gift for the holidays. Just a little food for thought. So those are, are a few concepts, a few ideas, a few thoughts on how to handle the money objection, how to think about it, how to capitalize on it, and how to also set yourself up if you're really moving and grooving, like I know so many of you are, set yourself up for the new year so you can absolutely knock it out of the park. Now, one of the things that may be helpful to you as you're out and about talking to people and as you're showing the plan, as you're presenting what you have, is getting more people to come to a yes decision. Who would like more yeses when they're showing the plan? If that's you, put a yes in the comment section. And one of the things that's absolutely critical when it comes to getting yeses is knowing how to take people by the hand so that they can come to the right decision for them and their family. Not twisting any arms, not doing any kind of weird craziness, but helping them make the best decision for them and their family. And one of the best ways that I know to do that is by asking a series of questions so that when we come to the closing, it's easier for them to do that. It's easier for them to say, "Get, I'm ready to rock and roll. And so if that's you, if you like to learn the questions that I ask, my closing sequence to help people come to that yes decision, then I have an extra bonus for you. It's actually a worksheet that I put together that takes you through the one, two, threes. Uh, this is something that we've used to enroll thousands and thousands of people in our team and I'm going to share it with you. So I'm going to drop a link here in the description and click on that. You can put in your email and then it will give you access to the special bonus worksheet. So that's my free gift to you. I hope you enjoy it. I certainly hope you use it. I want to hear testimonies as you're out and about talking to people and you're like, oh my gosh, it works. I know it works and you are going to absolutely love it. So guys, it's been great spending time with you. Great to see you, Nancy. I saw you, Karen. What's up, Roger? Guys, feel free to share this with your team. Get your team members listening to this because if you are getting the no money objection, people are like, I only got a quarter, right? If they're telling you they don't have much to get started with, then you need your team listening to this because if you're getting those objections, your team is as well. So do yourself a favor, share the replay and feel free to tag them also in the comment section. So until next time, go out there, live your life to the full, conquer your dreams and go get everything that God has in store for you. Take care and be blessed.